So in this video, uh, you already know that. Let's let's start the video. And this is the final result. If you like what you're seeing, continue watching. But this is optional, but I still want to talk about it. This is what I made to make the hood. This is basically a top and the shorts. And you can get this from the link in the description. You can go and download that. It's optional. You can just make the crop hood out of nothing. But I just add this to make this a bit appealing. All right, let's start. So, as you probably know, if you're watching my channel for for quite long, that I'm gonna start this with the basic shape. And I just want to warn you guys, this is not for complete beginner. Uh, I'm not gonna be explain everything as I go, but but I will explain what I'm doing. Don't worry, you will get some value from it. If you're a complete beginner, I can suggest you a video that has everything you need to know about making, from making the base shape and my process of making everything. You can just get this from the video. And if you're new to Morphos Designer, just go and watch this. It's, it's great. So I'm just fixing the armhole and fixing fixing the generic shape of the hood because to make something really great you have to understand or you have to make the base shape amazing or at least good otherwise it will be bad that's obvious but anyway when you're making any kind of dress doesn't matter what just make sure the fittings is all right by the way this is going to be a casual um, loose kind of hoodie don't worry too much about overall fittings too much but still you have to consider the fittings your number one priority so i'm gonna fix the back neckline just like that and probably make it a bit tighter in the back and maybe down a little bit and fix it just a little bit the soldier same is kind of off center so I'm gonna select both and just drag it just a bit down so it will just rest on the nice location and still fix need to fix the back just a bit and smooth the back I'm gonna make this as smooth as possible so the hoodie should look great that's my number one priority um, maybe neckline a bit lower and let's let's work on the crop design so I'm gonna just drag it way down way up sorry way down uh, just like that maybe not that one like this and let it drip most important guys use so I'm going to assign that with new fabric, this four, this four fabric, I'm going to assign it. I'm going to use for this, for this hoodie is terry cloth. So it's going to give me the volume and it's going to be, it's going to be good. So let's move it a little bit here. Let's tighten the back a little bit. It, don't worry about too much on on the back because the hoodie will rest the hood will rest there like that and the front design I'm gonna make it upward so it will be a crop design and this one should be very smooth very smooth uh, maybe a bit downish it's about you guys um, you can create any kind of design you want that's the fun part just just believe me this is the fun part so that's the design generic design I want for my hoodie now time to add the sleeve but first make the back a bit nicer I'm, I'm just gonna I I need to get rid of this excess fabric from the back sorry I want to add some excess fabric on the back something like that also I need 
to fix the armhole just a little bit so the back looks good like that and still I need to make it a bit tighter now let's add sleeve first make a normal pattern and then convert to curve point add some curve and adjust the basic sleeve and then sew it with the armhole and adjust the length like that and of course dock it there simulate there you go it's gonna be full sleeve so I'm gonna make it full of course I think wait let's just adjust this adjust a little bit then i'm going to add the sleeve maybe here it's looking good and i of course need to fix the armhole just a little bit because i messed it up like that maybe yeah and i'm just gonna drag it just a little bit to everything uh, it's about your preference you can you can do whatever you want to your design that's the fun part just just make it as 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 you like so yeah I think that's a bit odd shape but it's also because of the fabric that I choose for this it's it's very different from the default fabric so yeah and let's unhide that and maybe sew it again then simulate of course make sure it just drapes really nice make it a long sleeve sew it then make it a bit narrower just like the sleeve you can you can always see the sleeve how it looks in the real life the sleeve pattern I mean all right so make this a bit downish so I don't I don't want to make it big bulky sleeve rather a little delicate but it also gives you the sweater look and yeah I'm just leaving the sleeve as is and I'm gonna come back later and make this a bit nicer I mean a lot nice a lot nicer now come to the hood part probably this is why you are here I don't blame you hoodie looks amazing just amazing and it feels amazing you know I love wearing hoodie let me fix a little bit and now let's add a hoodie now, if you don't know how to make a hoodie or how a real hoodie pattern looks, this is a hoodie hood pattern. You can avoid this thing. This is basically a dirt, but you can just avoid this. Just see a generic shape to it. By the way, it's honestly very simple in Marvelous Design. All you need to do is just make a rectangle pattern like this. Use this smooth curve tool to smooth this like that. And then make this point a bit upper this one a bit there and you can also make it just like this curve is good enough and this head is to be a bit down and this one I'm gonna make it convert to curve point like that and it's it's very simple there's nothing very fancy about this but I'm gonna tell you how you can make it fancier I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and sew it with the neckline make sure you're sewing segment sewing and click that hit shift select here and select here make sure this sewing is all right and just adjust this here and always check if the hoodie is bigger or narrower you have to consider that yeah I mean 
one or two millimeter doesn't affect that much in the hoodie part of course now control D to symmetric paste there and so in the 3d window like this and simulate and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix a little bit because it's not very amazing I'm gonna take this point and drag it down with holding D key like that I mean when you hold D just see this curve point and it will work as an anchor and you can move that if I release the D key you can just move everything so it's just a tip you can use that maybe I want the neckline a bit longer so I can make the hoodie or hood a bit wider I don't want to make so wide but just a little wide doesn't hurt anyone yeah like that maybe let's see don't worry about this one the ear is a bit tricky but that's okay so that too looks very odd I know uh, I'm gonna rest it on the solder so while in simulation make sure you just grab this hoodie and drag it down like this mind the ear it's gonna make you feel very depressed but eventually you will surpass that and make a oh, common yeah something like this and just let it drape and make sure overall volume looks good and it should be random guys um the random looks really amazing trust me the more random you make the nicer it will look and it's it's asymmetrical it's it will be random for you for me for everyone so it's gonna be really amazing fun here's a fun part of making this but before that I might suggest you to add a pose and I'm gonna do it right away and guys I know you want a dedicated video about posing it will be coming really really soon so be a little bit patient and I'm gonna be back after the pose this is a random pose this one this is of course optional if you don't have any pose just don't worry about that use T pose it's it's as fine as this now let's make the hoodie a bit better I mean a lot better when you whenever you make hoodie always try to make the doubled layered fabric I mean as you can see here right now it's a single layer hoodie of course there's nothing wrong with that but when you make the double layer you just watch the magic so select this right click and layer clone over or under it doesn't matter over should be good so make sure it's over this one and right click remove linked editing right click symmetry pattern with sewing and then delete the auto sewing now carefully so like that so like that and so like that never so like this don't so it will just it will be weird now select all four reduce the part reduce the collision thickness to one and particle distance to maybe five it, it has to be nice and simulate now it's already good and adds a little bit of volume to it but that is not end let's stitch them first select this line and this line offset is internal line maybe 12 and hit ok so we'll get this stitch and then I also want this stitch along the middle so select that and then again 12 seems maybe, no 12 seems a bit maybe 10 like this now so like that so like this and so like this and now simulate to see the magic it just automatically looks amazing guys it's just it's really amazing so see you have a proper stitch here 
crop a stitch here maybe you can lower the particle distance even more maybe four and then simulate it will be a lot lot better and if you compare it to the single layer fabric it's just 10 times better so you can also make single fabric it's 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 common in hoodie but double layer looks pretty amazing the hoodie part is not done yet i'm gonna also make the drawstring but not right now i'm gonna make the sleeve a bit better so it's time to add the sleeve cuff so into a line maybe 50 80 i don't know not that much maybe like that and cut and sew first of all and then make it a bit lower freeze everything except the sleeve otherwise the hoodie right now is too detailed so so sleeve cup should be elastic and it should be tighter yeah i think that looks good now make it better and when you see this sleeve cuff it's most of the time like 99 out of 100 times as double layer so right click and layer code over and remove linked editing delete the auto sewing sew it like that and sew it like this select both of course reduce the particle distance maybe five for now and close the thickness one simulate it's the same process as the hoodie select this both i mean the four segments internal line maybe 10 and hope it okay uh, no, 10 should be a bit, 8 should be good here, and simulate, first so and then simulate, so you, you have this kind of effect, but I think, I'm going to just select that too, and just lower that just a little bit, so it will be straight, and yeah, like that. Simulate and see the amazingness things. The sleeves are very simple, but I love simple things. Maybe a little thickness 1.5 to give it more thickness to it. Particle distance, I'm gonna reduce it to 3 because I reduce it quite like seriously. Control D to symmetric paste and super impose over and simulate so you can see the same result as you saw on the other sleeve cuff like that and it looks really good now let's add another internal line maybe around here maybe make sure it's extended and cut and sew again and select that and make this maybe five so i can see an amazing detailing thing here and also the entire sleeve let's just leave it like that simulate everything especially the hoodie because i really love it it just comes out really great i'm gonna make the drawstring to make it it's it's even easier you can add a rectangle like this by the way guys i hope you definitely know what is the purpose of the drawstring of the drawstrings it just makes the hood tighter or loose and in the real life they actually go looping around and just come out like that it's kind of impossible not impossible but it's way too difficult in clothes video or mumbles designer so it's really unnecessary to make the looping thing i'm gonna just make the outside of the of the hood and i'm gonna add an eyelet here so it will so it will be hidden and right now i'm gonna start with small and like this oops like that to make a pipe it's very easy you can just add you can you can sew it and you can select both right click distribute between segment okay and you can use the fold arrangement tool and fold it like that it's 
very simple. It's it's gonna be it's gonna give you the pipe look, but it's not until you reduce the particle distance. So make sure to reduce the particle distance. Maybe for now three. I'm gonna reduce it to one, but now for safety purpose at three, and use the select mesh box tool. Select the tiny bit of here in the 3D window. Right click, create pin. So you will just hold there. But before that, use another fabric and assign it to there. And make sure the detail panel in the density, it may be 55. So it will be a bit heavier than the hoodie. So simulate and you can see a round pipe, pipe thing here. And if you think the width of this pipe a little bit smaller, you can select the rectangle pattern, double click in the middle and make it a bit bigger. The bigger you make, it will be, what can I say, it's, it's going to be bigger, I mean more rounder, I mean more wither. I think I love the first one. It was good. It was good length, I guess. Now, to sew it, as you can see, this is uh, not here, but this one is kind of a rectangle. Uh, it's a circle. So I'm gonna make here probably, or maybe maybe here. Yeah, I'm gonna add an internal ellipse tool and draw an ellipse with holding shift, of course. So it's gonna be a perfect round. Now I'm gonna sew it like that and like that make sure the sewing oops make sure the sewing is not reversed delete the pin and simulate so it's gonna be there again you have to make sure another thing that this thing should not be mismatched so try to match them as close as possible and yeah I think that looks really good now to make it a bit dramatic I want one string to be longer and another shorter control D to symmetric paste and make sure it's on the right it will depend on the pose the pose will make it a bit harder and it's on the inside so like that make sure this is fine now to make the tip it's is very easy of course now you can just delete the middle and select that right click offset pattern outline maybe 25 35 and don't forget to create it in line and hit ok and select that um, cut and sew and it, you can just sew it did I say sew it? No. Simulate it like that and sew it like this. So, yep. Now, this should be a lot narrower. So I'm going to select that, double click in the middle and make it smaller. And it's up to you of how long you want. I don't want that long. Maybe this long. Now, I want to make the hood a bit longer especially in that part so for now I'm just gonna deactivate the sewing I'm deactivate the pattern first simulate and I want a bit longer yeah much much longer perfect select this activate it bring closer simulate same here bring it closer activate it first then bring it closer now i'm going to remove the linked editing of this pattern so i can make it way smaller like that and yeah you have to again bring that closer to that this is okay but i want this a bit narrower Maybe it was too long. Yeah, like that. And let it drive for a bit. And it will be good, I guess. It should not be draped that much. So I'm going to make it a bit narrower. 
I'm gonna make it a bit heavier, maybe 80. So it just drapes down just a little bit. Not too much because it's either made of plastic or metal. If this is metal, then it's not gonna be bent. Plastic, yeah, not gonna be bent. I think that looks really amazing. Last thing I want to do is, I want to add an eyelet there. Use this add button tool and add a button just about in the middle. Of course, in the property or in the object browser, select the button thing and in the property editor, make the button this ring and adjust the width height according to your need. For my case, maybe 12 and 1.5, maybe 2, maybe 10 should be good. Just make sure that you don't so uh, you don't simulate it. You can, but I prefer this as a prop. I mean, I treat them as a prop because sometimes they go really crazy and everything just buggy and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's bad. Select that, copy and paste, cause, and then add there. And also, um, maybe just a bit bit bigger maybe 9.5 yeah and that looks really great it just feels really good and then one last thing is I'm gonna deactivate them for now activate everything oh come on deactivate them so they don't interfere with anything and I'm gonna make the basic pattern maybe six and the sleep pattern also six and then simulate everything and just wait just a little bit and also reduce the particle distance to this shows on top because they are there so i have to make them so that's the process of making a crop hoodie inside of marvel's designer or cloth 3d to make at least a decent looking hoodie thank you so much for watching this video guys i know probably a lot of you will skip the outro if you learn something new from this tutorial don't forget to comment and this is my instagram page if you make this or if you make any dress that i made you just tag me in on instagram and i'll, I'll be very very glad to see them it's you know it's it will inspire me also to see someone trying to make something that I made. And if you really want to contact me personal, you can message me there. Link is in the description. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next time. Bye.